now coming to the combinational circuit design so we'll see the design procedure how to design a combinational circuits so the step first is design a circuit from a specification so first we have to read the specification and based on that we have to design a circuit second step is determine number of required inputs and outputs so how many ports will come how many input ports will come and how many output ports will come so based on that input ports and output port we have to implement a truth table so after implementing our truth table we have to uh, form some equations some function boolean function and after getting the boolean function we have to simply draw the logic and we have to connect that logic and we have to verify that now bcd to seven segment display they have shown used to display the binary coded decimal number using uh, seven illuminated segments so this is a seven segment uh, decoder okay so uh, this is used to display the number whatever you have decoded so bcd uses zeros and ones to represent the decimal number or dec digit 0 to 9 so need four bits to represent the digits that is 10 digits right so binary coded uh, decimal represent each decimal digit with four bits so in order to uh, show a bit like in order to display a bit between 0 to 9 you have to you need four bits right in order to tell whether this is uh, 0 or 1 or 8 or 9 any digit right so list of the segment that should be illuminated for each digit so when 0 is glowing during that time a is 1 b is 1 c is 1 d is 1 e is and f is so the, you can see the decoded uh, uh, variables like which variable should be 1 which variable should be 0 so this is a you see here this is a this is b c d e f and this is g so this is the decoded information for all the variables now you see here you are getting 5 so in order to eliminate the 5 what you have to use you have to use a you want c you want d e you want f uh, you don't want e you want f you want g so this is the decoded information right now coming to bcd to seven segment display so final uh, find minimum uh, minimal sum of product represent for each output okay so they have uh, found minimum uh, minimal sum of product for the outputs so you see w x y z so 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 you see note have only filled in 10 squares corresponding to the 10 numerical digit we wish to represent so here you have seen how they have uh, formed the squares so find minimum sum we have to uh, solve this and we have to find the minimum sum of product and after that we can perform so don't care conditions fill uh, fill in don't cares for undefined outputs so if there is undefined output then you have to fill that thing with the don't care note that these combinations of input should never happen so whichever uh, you are uh, taking a don't care that input should never come and after that you have to perform the after that you have to reduce the implementation so put x don't care and interpret either as either one or zero as desired okay so in this way you can get these things done don't care condition so circle biggest group of ones and don't care is this so you are getting one octet right so this will help you to reduce the boolean expression much more effectively leads to reduce the implementation so what is the objective of don't care it will help you to reduce the expression circle biggest group if ones and don't care lead to reduce so if you are seeing in horizontal row also and you have seen before that vertically also so they will help you to reduce right so that is what they are trying to say don't care condition in bcd dis display circle biggest group of ones and don't cares you see here you have seen four so all ones should be covered at least one implicit so they are telling so and these x are able to reduce the boolean expression put all the terms together generate a circuit so if you are putting all the things together we will get f equal to y for this w for this the next bar z for this and at last we will get for all xz so in this way your x don't care is able to reduce your expression much more effectively so example of a 7 segment decoding so you can see a 7 segment decoding is there so this is decoder okay so uh, decoded seven segments so it is de telling displaying five okay 
so you see one oscillator is there which is giving a uh, clock to this chip and after that we are decoding and we are getting the expected result select a component and then push from the main menu bar and get what and how it works right so we have seen now uh, a number system then we have seen gates then boolean algebra then we have seen k maps then we have seen combinatorial circuit design procedures bcd to seven segment display then have we have seen some examples for combination circuits